Hello there, uh, in this video I'm going to show you SecureM Sub 3 Plus 3 Stick, part of the Pro Edition series by Pro Decoder. Uh, in this video I'm going to be working on SecureM 3 Plus 3, the classical model, the classic model 3 Plus 3. This is not secure map, the stick cannot work on uh, secure map with a cut key. This is for the classic one, SecureM and Sub. Okay, uh, as you can see, the stick has 3 plus 3 pins, upper ones, which can be manipulated from this bolt here, and bottom ones that are manipulated from this bolt here. What does it mean to be manipulated? Uh, with the Pro Edition series, you change the traction of the pins. You can make them feel, uh, you can make them move like very loose, or you can make them move really tight it's this is the most difficult and the most important thing when working with this tool now uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to work with the external manipulator you grab your universal handle here this is the external manipulator the external manipulator works only on the bottom pins the top will remain to be manipulated with an additional hex key. Okay, the first step, I remove the bolt here, like this, carefully, because there is, uh, there is a small stick inside, so be careful. Insert your handle like this. Okay, now, comes the part of the external manipulator. And here comes the difficult part. You have to you have to make it perfect, not too loose, not too tight. A little bit more maybe. I'm not going to touch uh the top ones, I want to see what happens. Now, Secure M 3 plus 3, as you can see, it's not secure, it's not secure map. Do not overestimate those locks because uh, most of them have this anti pick small but still anti pick cuts inside the lock, which uh, may, may cause big problem and may delay a lot the opening. Okay, let's try it. Do not forget, always insert with the pins corresponding to the lock tongue. In our case, it's to the left. Find the correct spot with this jumpy effect. And from this point, you can start the opening. And now I'm going to show you what I mean when I said small anti pick cuts. You see it? They're clamped like this. And now whatever I do, it stays there. You see, no movement at all. I can overcome that only by manipulating the traction of the pins. I can continue doing that, like for hours, nothing will happen. Probably at some point it will lose a little bit by itself and it will overcome the anti-picking. For now I'm just gonna, from here, I'm just gonna lose it just a little bit to see if it makes a difference. The first turn is now ready. Now, of course, in reality, you don't have, you don't get the chance to watch of what's going on. But I just wanted to to show you how important is to make uh, the key perfect, to make the stick, the stick perfect. So if, uh, if your stick is too tight, it won't happen. If it's too loose, again, it won't happen. So it must be the perfect, uh, the, the pins must have the perfect traction of the pins. Now you simply reset it, insert it once again, and continue. Now you see, once again, let me show you. Obviously, I have missed it. 
if if I cannot see this, I'm gonna do it for a couple more seconds, and then the logical thing to do is eject your tool, and uh, you're gonna see that the three bottom pins have fallen so this means that the traction is not good enough so reset it tighten it a little bit and try it again let me and now immediately there was an effect And the opening is effect but still the most important thing is for you to manipulate correctly the traction of the pins not only the bottom ones but also the top ones in this case the top ones were perfect but uh, with the help of the external manipulator it's not necessary to disassemble your tool and uh, manipulate it from this back bolt which makes the procedure easier I believe okay so now let's see if we want to change a pin. I have prepared another stick here which is ready. Now let's say we want to change one of the bottom pins. You remove the bolt. You have to move the pins a little bit. No, let me. The first will go out like this, but you have to reach this bottom here. You can see it. It's a larger hole, so you must push your pins towards it and then one by one you remove it you remove the pins so every pin is followed by this which is called pin divider so basically we have pin then divider then again pin then again divider I will keep removing the pins until I reach the one I want to, to change. Every box comes with uh, spare pins. Now be careful not to lose them because they are quite small as you can see. Okay. Every pin has head so again be careful of the direction. like this and then again you take your bolt and you insert it from this bolt you can only change the three bottom pins if you want to change the top pin you grab one of the hex keys provided again in the box you unscrew the bolt again and you repeat the whole procedure but here we have it on the top again you move the whole pack of pins towards this hole sometimes they may get a little stuck so you have to push them and then again you repeat you repeat the procedure and be careful of course with the direction of the of the pin divider it must be like this You insert the bolt and you're ready of course after that you have to adjust the traction of the pins and you're ready to continue with the openings okay I hope uh, this video was useful this was uh, secure M and sub 3 plus 3 stick part of the pro edition series the whole series can be found on our website protocolors.com thanks for watching